Nearly 160 people were on my last watercolour painting workshop. So this is a compilation of attendee paintings that uh, submitted their painting to me after the workshop. How different will they be? Which ones do you like and why? So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. I organise regular online watercolour workshops and this is, as I say, the compilation of attendee paintings from the June 2021 workshop. So nearly every month, watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a, a couple of hour paint-along experience where I do a step-by-step -step demo and answer your questions along the way. So in June 2021, we painted this rural farm scene with a lovely old barn here and it's uh, it's a bright it's a fairly bright day but we have some ominous clouds some storm clouds fast approaching uh this photograph of mine was taken in early spring 2021 so we got some fresh growth here so one of the challenges was all these different shades of green dark greens light greens yellowy greens reddish greens uh, how do we you know it's a good exercise in in mixing in mixing greens we've also got a reflection in this puddle in front of the barn as well to contend with and as well as the different shades of green the different foliage types as well grass bushes trees and so on so you don't have to have to painting my style it's really interesting to see everyone's interpretation of the same scene and my workshops are open to painters of all levels beginners are welcome advanced people are welcome as well um, all levels so I'm going to show you the attendee paintings one by one give a short little bit of feedback on each one please this is just my own opinion your opinion may be totally different to mine. That's, of course, what art is all about. But what I'm looking for in each painting is really sticking to the brief, the composition, uh, drawing skills, watercolour technique, and so on. Um, and also, the photographs that, that people send me of their paintings, that they're obviously taken on different devices. The colours may be maybe um, not exactly correct uh, as, as, the, as in reality. So um, please excuse that as we go through the, the true colours. The, the, the actual paintings may be a little bit more vivid than sometimes uh, photography uh, will do for you. So if you want to take part in any future workshops or indeed past events as well, just go to crowdcast.io crowdcast slash Tim Wilmot. There you'll see this workshop, which you can still do, the previous ones, and the next month's project as well. So let's see the paintings. First of all, uh, my effort on the day. In fact, I did do a, a little practice sketch. That was my practice sketch. Uh, and then my second attempt on the day was this one. Maybe I went a bit I went a bit darker with the greens there. Um, perhaps some more more varied greens in the in the practice sketch. Uh, got quite a, quite a quite a bright green there. Quite happy with the reflection. These tractor marks going into the barn, the sky, the distant hills. A little sort of a middle ground interest with the building as well. So that's my effort. Let's start to see the attendee paintings. In alphabetical order, we're starting with Annette. Right, we've certainly got a, a feeling of a gloomy day here, Annette. Uh, like the composition, very good reflection there. Maybe just a little bit of overworking of some of the greens. Um, it might be down to the, the quality of the paints that you're using. I like the granulation in the sky. Uh, we've got good range of values as well. Yeah, well, and well done on the tractor marks leading into, into the barn. 
Well done, Annette. And Amory. Nice and bright. Okay, got a good, good lot of uh, bright greens. You, you've gone with that. Uh, actually, I quite like that sky. Very nice. Uh, the way that you've achieved those clouds, and that nice, these bands of different values coming towards us, the darker background, then the middle, the middle fields here, and the darker hedgerows. Yeah, very nice, and a good pattern of tractor marks going into the puddle. Perhaps the reflection here could be just a little bit darker amory, but very nice bit of careful painting around of that object lurking in the barn as well. Thanks, Anne-Marie. And Audrey. Yep, so gloomy day. Nice technique with the sky and the middle ground. That tree there, we've got a feeling of a bit of a, a gale coming in, a, a sense of a bit of movement in that tree. Uh, very good, very good um, greens and the hedgerow there, nice bit of red creeping into the green, nice dark reflection there um, of the side of the barn. Yes, very nice, Audrey. Thank you. Uh, Bob, thanks very much, Bob. Lovely sky. Let me just uh, zoom into that sky a little bit. Yeah, lovely sky. Just what watercolour does, that sort of uh, bloom there, creating those, those white clouds. Love the tree with the lighter top, darker bottom. Perhaps a little bit too dark in the bottom left-hand corner here, just a tiny bit, but very good um, shades of green, nice reflection as well. Perhaps that could have been a little bit straighter, that line there, just to give a nice strong vertical, which a lot of um, paintings benefit from for, with some strong verticals. Yes, very nice, particularly like that sky. Well done, Bob. And Barry... Right, uh, you've got quite a sort of flat horizon there. It'd be nice to have just a little bit of a quirky, a few, few quirky bumps, but it's a it's, uh, nice painting, good composition. Just be careful with the, the edge of the barn, this, this edge barn being right in the middle of the scene. Maybe just consider moving that barrier just slightly to the left, slightly to the right, but nice attention to detail with that stonework. You've captured the colour of that, that stone and the, the tiles beautifully. I like the blue in the, uh, in the foliage and the, the grass as well. And good, good tractor marks. Yeah, and I like all the, the effect that you've got over here, Barry, with the, the greens. Well done. And Bev. Great sky. That, those little bits of white showing through. That's another technique, just to leave a little bit of the dry white paper showing through so we get some harder edges rather than, say, say Barb's approach with the, uh, like the, the wet in wet almost to give those, those blossoms. So nice few little sparkles and that, that little horizontal, these horizontal lighter marks as well, very effective. And strong, uh, strong reflection as well. Yes, very nice. Perhaps with that tree there, it's um, a little bit messy where it joins the sky. I think if it had a bit of a brighter, considering the sky is darker, consider a lighter valley to the treetop just to show a little bit of contrast there. But well done, Bev. And um, Bromwyn. Ah, the first figure. I know a few people that um, I do include include a lot of figures in my in my uh, paintings, uh, but I didn't do on this one, so I try to keep it sort of dead simple, really. But uh, we've got a a rural figure here, farmer maybe, um, perhaps a a rifle or gun over the shoulder, marching up to. Uh, 
marching up to the barn. Not sure if this farmer's caught anything or shot anything. We'll never know. But uh, we've got a nice reflection, good reflections in that. Um, again, just watch the middle of the barn just being right in the middle. Just maybe just sneak it over the right a bit. But lovely watercolour. And um, well done for including that figure and a few little touches of light on that figure as well. Well done, Bronwyn. And Calvin, always recognised Calvin's style, a lady in the picture. And the lady's lost her hat. It's floating in that dirty water. Oh, dear. Uh, thanks very much, Calvin. Beautiful picture, your, your clean style softness in it as well lovely greens you, you've adopted different approach with the trees um in this scene and the the hedgerows like it and not so not so sure about these dry marks and they're showing up the texture of your paper the dry marks in the bottom left corner um uh, i'd have preferred um more distinctive tractor marks but it's a lovely scene and, and a, a good job on that figure brilliant figure and, and it's telling a story you know? um the, the lady's lost the hat and wondering is it too deep is if i tread any further am i suddenly going to disappear into the water well done calvin another nice uh, clean style of painting carol oh I, li I like the brightness the the brightness here over the left on the left hand side carol i, I think there might be a few carols actually I've this is Carol E, and a nice bright green there, a few little black splattering marks as well. Um, yeah, good composition. Uh, I like the, the rooftop, the very distinctive edges to that, and um, a hard edge. That actually works quite well, that hard edge below that uh, darker, the, the darker clouds above, and that the, the sort of a band of lighter weather on the horizon yeah very very nice striking yellow greens then and a good job on that tree well done carol and coming up next probably be another carol right carol uh right so uh, this might be one where i'm sure the photograph I, I bet the painting is a lot brighter than this um now good good composition uh, your horizon is um maybe a little bit higher than I made mine. Um, just be careful, a tiny bit of overworking, particularly on some of the background details like that tree or the red in the tree. It can sometimes just bring things a little bit too far forwards, but I like it a lot. Um, it's got a lot of atmos atmosphere in this. Uh, with the tarmax, my, these tra tractor tarmax here in the foreground perhaps have a few of them wandering into that puddle in front of the barn. Uh, good job on the green, so well done, Carol. And I, I like the blue in the sky. Yep, definitely a bit of atmosphere in that one. And Carolyn, let me just see if we can zoom in a bit into this one. It, I, I like the feeling of a, a, a slight slope in the landscape and then there's a little bit of a dip with this hedgerow and these greens are superb uh very good job carolyn on this like the sky as well we've got uh different blues and a bit of warmth in that sky as well and lovely cloud formations very strong reflection there as well well done, Carolyn. Nice one. Just zoom back out. And Kathy. I like the yellowish greens in this. Certainly gives a nice bright feeling emphasized by these lighter sparkles with the paper showing through. Yes, a very loose style. Very effective brush marks as well. Perhaps we've got a, um, it might be the um, the angle of the photograph, just thinking, is there a little bit of a leaning here, slightly to the right of that farm building, 
But then again, if it's a farm building, it might have a little, if it's an old farm building, it might have a little bit of a lean on it. Yes, very nice um, values of green and those those little brush marks that, that you've got in these darker brush marks. Very effective. Well done, Kathy and Cheryl. We can see the, uh, the texture of the paper showing through here. Uh, right. Um, now, it's, it's not too clear with this one, that middle field, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think if we had some lighter, perhaps if this area here, Cheryl, uh, if I was to draw that, that area there, that was a bit lighter, then the this reflection would, the, the, ang the line of the reflection, the left hand edge might show through just a little bit more. But it's lovely painting. Yeah, well done. A slightly different interpretation of the scene. Well done, Cheryl. And Ching. Very nice. Great sky. Nice handling of the trees. I like this shadow coming over to the left from that tree. So we, we can see there where the light's coming from. Good tractor marks. Um, good. good. Also, I like the, the repetition of these little vertical lines. It's quite a nice sort of pattern going through the scene. Those vertical lines in the hedgerow. And then, of course, there are reflections in the puddle. And a nice, nice puddle reflection as well. Those shades of blue in there. Yeah, well done, Ching and Dan. Great sky. I like the that little bit of warmth coming through on that cloud in the top left corner. Very loose, uh, very loose background there. Perhaps we could have been a bit lighter with that building just to get a little bit of lightness into the scene and also I'm not so sure about the lightness on the walls the the supports for the barn roof here perhaps they could have been just a little bit lighter or perhaps a little bit of brown in them and then we could have maybe made the reflection just a tiny bit darker I like the, the foliage and again, nice, confident brush marks of the, uh, the foliage uh, and the, the foliage in the, in the hedgerows as well. Yes, very nice. Well done, Dan. Daniel, nice and loose in the middle here. Perhaps you haven't got the gloomy grey sky that we were going for but it's a good sky nonetheless watch out for this little bit of overworking in the middle here not sure if you were maybe you thought it was too dark and you did you lift this out a little bit perhaps just um sometimes with mistakes like that just just leave them in there rather than trying to uh, rectify it with that area yeah, so just, I would say, just be careful with a little bit of a working, but it's a nice bright scene. You've captured the brightness of the walls of the barn really well. And that whole middle area, I like it a lot, very loose. Uh, well done, Daniel, thank you. Let's just zoom back out. Right, David C. Ah, so we, we've... Um, had some figures, now we have some farm animals. So well done, David, for including the animals. Just the right size of animals as well. These cows in the field, uh, in, in the scene. Perhaps with the hedgerow that we might have uh, maybe not seen their, their legs. And it might have worked better with a darker hedgerow or a harder top edge to it as well. Great sky though, nice foreground, good reflection, 
we perhaps could have gone a little bit darker within the inside of the barn or the reflection just to get in a greater range of values some light we've got the light of the the sky reflection in that puddle there but to get in some darker some darker darks as well would um would be just icing on top of the cake but well done for including the the uh, farm animals well done david and david so that was david c there's another david c Oh, this one david c number two yeah I, I, I like the way that you've done the, the grass particularly on the right hand side i think that's very effective maybe on the left hand side just a little bit overworked just a tiny bit uh, but I, I like the the effect of the grass on the right hand side your greens they're good greens but they're not um too bright i think with the with the rooftop there, David, if it was a more vivid reddish brown and the grass would remember we're trying to get that feeling of spring spring growth as well. Uh, so it just would have been a little bit nicer with some yellowish greens, but uh, I like that sky. Brilliant sky. Just the right shade of blue there, and you've got the formation of those clouds up in the sky perfectly. Yeah, well done. Good job on those those um, these darker greens of the foliage on the right. We've got lots of Davids. David, David I or David L. Uh, so David, I suppose what stands out here is uh, is the um, this middle field. Uh, it uh, you've made yours perhaps a little bit larger, uh, made the hedgerow a little bit less uh, conspicuous. I'm not sure if it's your intention to have this sort of lighter area around the outside, but it's sometimes nicer, I think, to take your painting right up to the side of the uh, the paper. But good composition, good range of values. I think again, the photograph. I bet I bet your painting was a lot more vivid in colour than this. Uh, but that again, that um, that middle area in the the tree on the horizon you haven't put in those background hills but it doesn't matter i think we've got that darkness on the horizon with the hedgerow and these trees that works that works uh, equally as well well done david and dennis yep very nice i think that barn is well placed there on the right hand side it's sort of hitting that the left hand edge is hitting that almost that right hand third that line there so um, it means that we've got we've got more to play with over on the left hand side so nice composition the way that you've got the objects in the barn the left hand side of the barn the placement of that building just moved it slightly more to the left than it was in the photograph you made the tree a little bit smaller good sky good background nice greens very loose, nothing overworked, good range of values as well. Yeah, nice one. Well done, Dennis. And Diane. Well, I like, I like the splattering. I think with the splattering, try and protect some of the... Splattering is probably one of the, the later stages, a lot the latter stage of the painting so maybe try and cover up some of the paper where you don't intend the splattering to go just to protect the uh the painting just any sort of just scrap paper there watch the leaning of the barn as well that barn um yeah so it looks like it's leaning a little bit so straighten up that edge there and then perhaps the the top would be less steep we've got the bottom of the barn there i think that might work better like the middle ground here very nice uh, the the tree those trees are beautiful on the left hand side there yeah good job on those diane and these trees as well and the i'm not sure if it's white paint or you've just scraped out a little bit but that's very effective with those those tree trunks very fresh nothing overworked 
Uh, yes, I just think there's a bit of a, an awkward lean there on that um, barn, just a tiny bit. But great effort, like nice painting. Well done, thanks. Done nice and bright, certainly. Maybe it's that blue that the, the blue background here that shows it up a little bit more. Thanks, Diane. Doris, uh, I think this is another one where I bet your painting is a lot brighter. I can tell with the the darkness of the paper. It looks quite quite dark there. I bet the painting's a lot brighter than this. Very naturalistic, uh, natural colour colour of the greens, the, the colour of the, the rooftops as well. I think that tree trunk might be just a little bit too tall with a sort of lollipop tree on there. Maybe if that, I think it was an oak tree, maybe if the canopy sat a little bit lower and a shorter tree trunk, that would look a little bit better. But nice puddle in front of the barn and good reflection as well bit of detail with the stonework uh, just be careful with the the white paint don't don't overdo it Doris but we, we like your signature in white though yeah certainly leave that in well done Doris yeah nice nice greens there very nice well done uh, Eileen well let's just zoom in a bit more on this one there we go Nice bright greens. I, I like the way that we have a, a sort of graded wash from the, the darker green at the back of the field to more of a yellowish green there. Very striking. The This building here might be leaning a little bit, going downhill a tiny bit. So just um, I would have uh, pushed that back a bit more and made it a bit more, a bit more horizontal, a bit more level. Nice reflection of the barn good color in that just the right value of the um, color in the water i think the sky might be almost on the verge of a little bit overworked with the the sky and perhaps a little bit too blue on this one uh, but it's a nice painting good balance nice greens and I, I particularly like that i keep my eyes keep going to this this brighter area here well done Eileen and Fauzia. So good composition. We've got a good sky as well. I think with the background, I'd have less of these white bits showing through on the background. With the foliage, now just be careful with a little bit of overdoing it and try and Maybe it's the size of your brush. Maybe you have a bigger size brush so that we have less of the paper showing through uh, just to avoid that overworking with a smaller brush. But good, good foreground, nice pattern of tire marks there. Very good reflection as well. And the machinery in the, um, within the barn. Yeah, and a nice contrast also with the red of the barn against that bluish stormy sky well done Fauzia Fauzia just zoom back out right Fiona oh a very gloomy sky now you've you've actually pushed that barn a little bit more over to the right which is fine nothing wrong with that with the sky I would be I'm not so sure about this hump here of this lightness and and that that line sort of following almost um, following the the line, the outline of the, the treetop. So I would try and um, not have that being like a mirror image of that. I like the, the greens though, great hedgerow. I think this looks like a little cat here. I can just see a little cat with, with ears looking into the field. Um, I like your puddle. We've got a little bit of darkness on the far side of the puddle and nice touch in the foreground. Um, maybe with, with in, the, in the left corner and the right corner, these, these stronger sort of grassy, foley, 
um, leafy, strappy leaves coming out. Perhaps um, that one when the left works. I, I wouldn't have bothered with the one on the right. Uh, just just have one stronger one in, in one of those corners, perhaps that left one to balance out the um, equipment in the barn. That would work, I think, better for me. Very nice. Well done, Fiona. And Francisco. Yes, we've got that gloomy feeling of the of the day we we don't have any brightness coming through but you've you've gone for that stormy look i also like let me just see if i can zoom in a bit more this this line here and this line there we we've got the impression or the, the feeling of something within the recess of the barn it might be a support or some other bit of farm machinery i think it's quite a quite a nice touch well done good reflection Yes, very very atmospheric this one, and I like the this little bit of white on the edge of the barn roof. Well done, Francisco. Nice one, and Gisela. Nice and bright. Watch the uh, this left hand pillar here being right in the middle try and just i think it would have worked better just being slightly over the right but nice bright scene this yet these yellows here the bright um, machinery the brightness of the rooftop as well with the lines on the roof i would say not have these two verticals so they're going to be more at that kind of angle pretty much all the way over all right that might be a little bit um, more effective with the perspective like the sky though lovely feel that green field a bit of um, warmth coming through in the foreground as well yes very nice well done Gisela and Gisela lovely field very nice green there. You captured that green very well. I think perhaps in the in this middle area here where the hedger is just a little bit too much of the paper showing through. I think if there were less gaps, if it was more solid, that would look better in that in that hedgerow. Nice reflection though, and also the the lighter these these softer darker areas very effective in that puddle thank you Gisela next up Gwen let's just zoom in here wow very dark sky like it especially in the the, the top left corner we can we can feel those those clouds coming into the scene from that top left corner Again, like I might have pointed out with, with somebody else, if, if there was a lighter top to that tree, would that create a nice bit of contrast um, in the scene? That, imagine this, this top of this tree here was uh, a little bit, you know, if that, was, if that was lighter, not white, but do you see what I mean? Creating a bit of contrast. And there's a bit of a hill going up to the, the, uh, the right-hand side. Yes, nice nice naturalistic greens if i could refer to as that and a slightly repeated pattern of the the foliage as well these vertical marks going through the scene nice reflection good tractor marks nice one well done gwen let's just zoom back out again and hans peter Yup. Strong, very strong reflection. Very nice. I think the first thing that caught my eye was the the brush stroke directions from the these lines here, almost going diagonally down from top left to right. 
even though the field I think was more is sort of quite level or slightly rising to the right, <clears throat> I think that works quite well to give the feeling of, a, of the heel of, of, the, of the heel going slightly up to to the top left corner. Very nice hedgerow. I lo- those greens in there, superb. Yep, very very nice. Nice greens, well done. Thanks, Hans Peter. And Isabel, <clears throat> so. I think this photograph is maybe a little bit too bright. We've had a few photographs that are, a few photographs that are a little bit too dark. I think this one might be a bit too bright. I'm sure it's not as um, bright as this, particularly in the top left corner. We've got a, f- a feeling though of, of light, nonetheless. Um, very, very good composition. I, li- I like the the foliage that you've done, and especially this sort of this shard of um, foliage coming out here into the puddle and. The, the lightness against the, the dark background. Just be careful with the white paint. I wouldn't do it so much. Um, then in the the reflection, yes, that's that little mark there that was what watercolor does and the transition of the reflection into the tractor marks, that works well also. Well done, Isabel. And John D. Right, we've got a gloomy scene here. Looks like it's raining. Uh, this is John. This is John's style. Um, some might say a little bit overworked, but I, I quite like it. It's uh, we, we've got. A, it's a very charming style, and very suitable for this this sort of scene where where we've we've got. Um, the, the, the different foliage and that gloomy sky, uh, very effective on that, very effective technique on that sky and the texture that you get with these old buildings as well. It might be, it might have been nicer, John, just to get in, sneak in, just a little bit of extra brightness in somewhere. somewhere. Uh, you, you're just beginning to see it in this area of the puddle, but if we were to consider maybe a larger area of lightness or this rooftop using that maybe that was a little bit brighter just to um create a bit of extra we got a bit of brightness i suppose there's some brightness in that in that um left hand wall there yes very nice lovely painting well done john and joy Yeah, quite soft. Uh, I think we would we need to get a perhaps a straighter straighter edge there for the the uh, barn roof. Consider being this area here, Joy, being a lot darker than it is. So it's quite quite light. But I like the the greens that you've got. That sky is is beautiful. The uh, we can see the the outline of the clouds. A bit of darker bluish clouds behind that throwing them into contrast yeah well done nice and nice a good job on the tractor marks they're very good tractor marks very effective well done joy and jit ah now the horse <clears throat> now this horse might be just a little bit too large but well done for including the horse and it's I, I don't know whether the horse, from a composition point of view, would the horse be better on the left-hand side being a balance to the machinery within the barn? I don't know. What do you think? But very nice uh, watercolour. We've got good composition. Could be a little bit darker on this left-hand side. Good reflection as well. But that horse is superb. Maybe it doesn't need this darker outline there, Jit. I'm not sure if that was your intention or whether you're just trying to sort of emphasise those those um, those darker lines. But I don't think you've you've got the that darker pen marks anywhere else. Well, it might be a tiny bit in the the tiles, perhaps. But well done for including our first horse. Well done, Jit. Nice one. And Carda. Yeah, I like it. I like the blues in the greens. This is very effective. 
uh, watch the marks on the, the rooftop here. I think that it'd be better if they were angled that way. But nice, I, I, I like, let me just zoom in here, I like this blue that you've got as a, as a sort of shadow in the hedgerows, that tree. And then as we come down, this, this blue emerging in, in the grass, we've got some warmth in the grass, in this foliage. Very nice. Well done, Carter. Kazim. Ah, oh, we've got a, a figure in the barn. That's a good idea, actually, having a, um, as you might expect in a farm building, a, a figure there lurking in the background and, and a bit of action as well. This this figure's got a, a pitchfork or something like that. Uh, yes, nice, nice idea. And, and also the figure slightly looking into the composition. But very, very nice composition, nice balance as well. Very strong lines and beautiful colours that you've got into the foreground. Yellows, blues, browns, reds. And the, and the actual texture of the, um, those tractor marks, you, it's very much sort of leading the eye into the composition. I like that also, that light a bit there. Just between the darkness of that roof and where the tractor marks start, tractor marks start very effective. Nice middle ground, blue in the in the background. Yes, very nice, Kazim, and well done for including that that lovely farm figure. Well done, uh, Klaus. Ah, okay. Obviously, we're going portrait here, orientation rather than landscape uh, orientation. Yeah, let me just zoom in here. So, is that a bit of? So is that a bit of paper where you've got a sort of deckled edge to that paper, I think, and then and then you sort of almost mounted it on top of a, a piece of board behind. It works well. So going, I mean, taking a, a photograph that was quite obviously landscape, but making it portrait, you've got to concentrate on one thing. And you've what you've done is you concentrate on that strong vertical, the left hand of the barn, and then continue with the flexion, and it's. And this, this dark vertical line is cut in several places with the foliage coming across um, and, and the pattern of that foliage as well. So that's almost going that way. This is going this way. But it's all, all sort of leading your eye into, into the scene. Maybe um, I wouldn't have bothered with that, that bit of green, that trailer or whatever it was in the barn itself. It's not really doing much for this type of comp composition perhaps just keep it simple or all dark in there nice range of values as well well done klaus good idea well done for going portrait on that one and laurent i like the pattern of the little vertical marks of the foliage repeated in several places the also, we have, I think this is the first birds we've seen in the sky. Lovely sky, Laurent. Uh, nice handling of the background as well, not too blue. Uh, the, the middle foliage as well. Yeah, lovely greens, well done. And a good, good drawing. Nice reflection. I would maybe just be a bit careful with some of that white paint there, just ease off on on some of that. It maybe just doesn't need it or if, keep, keep this... Uh, Keep this area painted quite light, then going darker with those darker tractor marks rather than that um, white paint there. But lovely, well done, Laurent and Libby. Oops, just zoom out a bit more. Yep, well done, Libby. Certainly is a quite a dark senior, very vivid greens. They're quite cool greens, these aren't they? Uh, maybe if, if we had a slightly more, more yellow. A yellowish green in the scene it might give us more of a, an idea of the the spring foliage but well done we've got that strong vertical line there foliage perhaps if we had a little bit of light in the scene a lighter roof for example lighter in here that would work 
and just ease off on some of this uh, these whiter these white marks here. Maybe you used um, one of those white pens, perhaps. It just uh, it doesn't quite look right. It it didn't need it. To be honest, it was it was it was good before. Yeah, you've, you've captured a dark, gloomy scene. Um, typical UK, typical UK spring day, really. Uh, thanks, Libby. And Linda. Well, we've got a figure and um, companion pet. And this figure looks like they're well and truly wrapped up with a scarf. Yes, very nice uh, background tiny bit too much of the white paint i think particularly in this this area here linda i would um, ease off on that and try and make it a little bit more solid but i guess you're trying to make that that hedge a little bit lower because we've got that figure walking towards us maybe you're thinking of a lower hedge there no, but nice composition and uh, I, I like this line here I'm not sure if this is part of the background hills or part of the clouds, but I like it. This this line leading from so we've got the that lovely rooftop. That that roof is beautiful. This cool colour, warm colour. But that line there, yes, quite nice. Well done. And good shades of green. Uh, Lydia. Okay, well we have a a child and splashing around and uh, the splash marks as well brilliantly placed um, child in in that almost towards that bottom left hand corner great balance between that figure there and then the the trailer in within the barn i also like these you you've done a bit of scraping here which takes um a little bit of practice to get the timing just right but you've done that perfectly lydia You've timed it just right to get those uh, those uh, scraping, strappy, grassy marks there just right. Uh, I think it's, it's most effective on this right-hand side here where maybe you might have done a little bit of negative painting there, a tiny bit. And, and also, looking at the detail, zooming in, we've got some foliage in that, in that reflection. But well done for including the figure. Yeah, nice touch. Well done. And Lynn. Yes, dark, gloomy day. Not sure if I can resolve what what the 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 landscape is like here in, in front of the barn. But I like I like these greens. It's not overworked, um, particularly in this area here. Love, very nice um, shade of green in there. Gloomy sky. Now, talking about overworking, might be a tiny bit overworked here, Lynn, in this, um, on those background hedges. A very nice scene. We, uh, we, we've, we've captured the essence of it in those tractor marks as well. Nice uh, colour on the barn roof. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, Lynn with an E. So what's caught my eye here is, is the pattern, um, the, the scene sort of drawing you in with these lines here. Do you see in this one to some extent there, they're sort of taking us into that central area. Nice lightness on that barn, lightness of the, uh, this area. Perhaps we could have been a bit darker Lynn with the reflection in the puddle. Nice bright green or, or quite a pale light green, yellowy green in the field. Stands out well against the, the darker contrast. Yes, it's, it's, it's very nice, lovely, well done. And Madeline. I think this is probably one of those photographs that's just a little bit too dark I, I suspect that the your your painting Madeline will be a lot lighter than this now just be careful with a little bit of overworking I think if you 
I, I get the feeling that might be not enough water on your brush or maybe your brush is just a little bit too small for some of the areas you're doing. But you've got a nice composition here. Uh, watch the reflection, all right? That reflection uh, following the line of the of the barn. So this, this should be the darker reflection in there. But you, you've got you've got different shades of green. We've got the lighter greens there, the lighter green in the field. Bit of a bit of an interesting hump in the in the landscape. Yes, well done. Thank you, Madeline. And Mary Pat. Nice and loose. Good brush marks as well, particularly in the foliage. These grassy little little marks here, like them. And the lighter marks also. Good range of values. Nice, nice sort of dark blue, almost like a navy blue colour in the recess of the barn. Good clouds as well. I like that, that almost hor pure horizontal line. Um, yeah, it's 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 quite it's quite nice as a as another line in the scene. So we've got light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Those 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 repeating bands, the, um, horizontal bands coming down the scene. Good tractor marks also. Yeah, so good good marks on that one, Mary Pat. Well done, uh, Mary Ann. Lovely yellow. I like the softness of the base of the tree and it's sort of melting. It's just connecting so beautifully with the hedgerow coming out. So nothing overworked, very fresh. Yeah, and you, you've, we've, we're sort of standing back a little bit more, I guess, in this one, aren't we? So you, you've made that, actually that barn looks quite nice. That They're sort of further back in the scene and we've got more of the foreground to play with. Well done, Marianne. Mike F. Yes, you, you, the, your approach for the foliage are maybe smaller marks, which is is quite attractive actually. This is uh, almost similar to um, John. I think John Dee's um, approach to it. Yes, yeah, so a good good range of greens. I like the the horizontal um, marks that you've got in that field, a little bit of lightness hitting some of the uh, background hedgerows, a little bit of orange on that green machinery. I ease off on the white paint, doesn't need it in there, Mike, in my opinion. Not nice, strong reflection. Yes, very nice. Uh, perhaps I would ease off on some of these lighter white marks showing through. I'm not sure if it's the paper or little bits of white paint, but I would just ease off on that mic and have more of a solid, solid colour to it. Yeah, nice one. And lovely sky. You've got um, some good-looking clouds in there. Well done. Uh, Pablo. Yeah, I, I like the the feeling of the the gradient here, almost the the hedgerow coming down and then going up and joining the the barn. Good shadow, nice shadow there. I th I I think this might be another painting where the photograph is not as vivid as the as the live um, as the live uh, the real painting. Nice area devoted to the puddle. Perhaps that reflection could be a tiny bit darker, especially especially in that area there. Bit of splattering going on as well. Yep, very nice. Nice shades of green. Well done, Pablo. Thank you. And Pat. What a lovely sky. Yeah, so I, I bet, Pat, with that one, you made the sky damp. I forget now how I did the sky. Uh, you, you made the sky damp, and then you dropped in that thicker, darker colour. So we've got these little streaky, lacy, light 
marks of the cloud showing through. That sky is beautiful. The greens are just, yeah, I was going to say they're just a tiny bit overworked. Uh, and also, I, I, it might be nicer if the field here, Pat, was a little bit lighter. Then we've got more of a contrast with the hedge hedgerow coming down from the side of the barn going over to the left hand side. I like the reflection, cools, a bit of blue in there, brown. Nice tractor marks as well, bit of splattering going on. Uh, good attention to detail with the reflection on the far side of the puddle, following the line of the, the ridge of, um, of foliage. Yeah, well done. Particularly like that sky. Well done, Pat. Pete, uh, we, we um, on our workshops, we always have or I always have towards the end a, set, a part of the session where I invite people to come on screen and show their paintings and Pete is always the first up so well done Pete yet again for being first up there uh, but um, it's good to see the painting in the flesh yeah very very nice um, good composition the I think uh, because I've mentioned it so many times, this this middle, this this uh, strong left hand edge there being right in the middle, maybe I did it right in the middle as well, so I'm guilty with others. But a lovely scene. I like, I like the sky, the the clouds, the, the shape of the clouds, large here and then going a little bit smaller, and then that bottom base, beautiful. Well done. That nice um, nice uh, rooftop as well to the barn lovely greens also you've got a bit of texture creeping into the the grass uh just a few little lighter patches i think that could be more a little bit more solid there pete and and um a bit more attention to to the this grass over here and you've got that sort of darker line there i don't think that sort of works quite right uh, but good, good, nice, strong vertical edge to that reflection, and then those tractor marks, bit of splattering in the foreground. Yeah, very nice. Well done. So thanks, Pete, and thanks again for being the first to come on the screen, Rhonda. Yes, it looks. I think the photograph is a little bit too, a little bit too dark. Uh, uh, well done for mounting it as well. Certainly, um, mounting does show off a picture so well. And uh, this is nice and loose. Just be careful with a tiny bit of the overworking. Um, with the this uh, building rooftop here, maybe have a little bit of a darkness below that roof, just so that we can see. We c it stands out more as a building. Yeah, just, just be careful, I think, with the greens. Just be careful with the overworking, overdoing it too much and getting almost on the verge of a little bit muddy, but not so much. I like the the brush marks, the directions that you've got. Certainly leads your eye into the scene. And a lovely, lovely red there, Rhonda, on the tractor marks. These nice little black marks as well. Very loose. Yeah, well done. Good job. Thanks, Rhonda and Richard. Nice vivid green in that field. Uh, like many of the others, good, good strong lines leading us into the composition. Yes, I like this. It's very, very nice sky. Good rooftop. Nice, just the right green of that um, trailer in the, in the background there. Good bit of contrast of the, the rooftop of that building with the background hedgerows, a few little vertical marks there with the grasses. Well done, Richard. Thank you. And Ricard. Right, perhaps we might have scrunched up the foreground a little bit here. It might have been better to just have a bit more, um, push that barn back just a tiny bit to give yourself a little more space 
bit more space for the foreground but it other than that's really nice composition nice sky the the greens we haven't got that vivid yellow green but it's it's just the right value ricard uh, with that lighter field and the darker hedgerow i like your t your tractor tire marks in the mud yes we've got that dark bit of shadow behind these these raised bits very effective nice strong dark values as well well done thanks ricard and rosa oh, looks like we've got um a a figure with the bucket that figure is brilliant let's try to zoom into that perfect uh proportions the the shoulders leaning as well that that lean carrying the two buckets uh we, we've got a looks like a dog or something like that forgive me if i if i misinterpreted it wrong but it looks like a dog's having a drink of water or something like that very nice nice good good touch good also the good shape of those tractor marks as well and birds in the sky yes it's a, it's a nice peaceful scene we haven't got that sort of ominous cloudy scene you've gone more for a more tranquil scene i think that works really well very nice beautiful figure well done rosa i know rosa is always very good on figures rosemary nice clean edges uh, now that reflection that line there needs to be slightly more to the right rosemary just to, so it's lining up with um that or you know sort of roughly in line with the side of the building i, li I like the the lean of this hedge that's going from bottom left to top right nice light field as well good sky I think the image is a little bit, the photograph is a little bit too small, so I can't pick up on too much the detail, but you've got some nice clean lines. It could be a little bit darker in the top portion of the, the barn as well, just to make that a little bit darker so it's going to give us a bit more contrast with the roof. Let me to zoom back out again. Yeah, thanks, Rosemary. And Sally. I like your brush marks, particularly in that, that my eyes went straight away to this hedgerow. Nice, you're, you're capitalizing on the transparency of watercolor. Uh, we can see here the, those layers materializing and I'm not sure what that line is there, but it doesn't matter, I quite like it. Um, the, the sky is brilliant. Just to zoom in on that sky. That sky is brilliant. Background hills hedgerows you've you've got lots of confident um brush marks maybe a tiny bit of overworking in the bottom right corner here but it doesn't detract from a lovely scene and, and also the way that you've done the tractor marks a few dry brush marks uh, that's sort of lost and found within those those tractor marks very effective yeah well done sally and sean Very vivid, nice range of values. Perhaps a too few, a too many little little sparkles within that middle hedgerow, uh, but only slightly. Good sky, nice undulation of the of the uh, back of the field as well. That makes it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, nice, uh, good. Good dark values in that um, barn as well. Yeah, nice one. Well done, Sean. And Sheila. In fact, that I think there's, oh no, there's one Sheila. Right. Very nice. Beautiful sky. What what a, what your eyes go to, at least for me, is straight away that uh, rooftop there, that right rooftop against the darker background excellently done nice again nice undulation of the of the field we haven't got the yellow greens the yellowy spring growth but we've got good range of values nice shades of green a cooler green over the right hand side um and then these these whiter 
the, these whiter marks as well for the blade, blades of grass. Good dark tractor marks going to the barn. Very nice. Lovely sky, though. The, 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 the shapes of those clouds, not overworked. Yeah, that whole, this whole area there is the best bit. Well done, Sheila. Thank you. And Shiva Kuma. Oh, we've got a bit of a, a misty effect going on here. We haven't, we haven't got that puddle. I'm not sure if that was your intention. We're, we're lacking this little bit of water in front of the barn. But it's got a lot of atmosphere. It almost looks like it's raining with uh, the, these marks. Like the sky as well. Looks quite stormy. Very bright uh, field in the middle ground. Nice. It gives us a bit of contrast with the darker hedge. But yes, I, I quite like that. It's this sort of very impressionistic uh, way that you've done the uh, the foreground. And we that that green bit of farm machinery also almost disappears into the darkness in that barn very atmospheric well done suniti we have a quite a light sky uh, in this one yes quite quite bright in the top part of the of the picture good range of greens little bit overworked i think with some of the greens and in the recess so i'm not sure if that's down to the size of your brush maybe also we we could do with a little bit of a stronger um, reflection because your the base of your um, barn is quite low it's below that halfway line we we've we're lacking a little bit of space to do that but it's an it's a nice watercolor nice flow with the curvature of the the grassy hedgerow i like that sky these layers that you've got in there as well nice and bright in the top part of the screen and also quite bright as we were dark at the top of that pillar that side of that wall and coming quite light that's a nice touch as well well done suniti thank you and Theo. Right, this looks like a bit of wet in wet here. Uh, maybe your your painting was, was done when the paper was quite damp, perhaps. Uh, so I like, like the sky. Very atmospheric. A bit of brightness coming through as well. With the trees, try not to make them too symmetrical, too perfect. So uh, try, and, try and make them a little bit more, say, lopsided or less symmetrical now just be a little bit careful with some of the overworking and get in some we've got a lot of too, maybe too many soft edges there could be more of a balance to some harder edges but i like the reflections that you've got in here and it i suppose it does give you a, a bit of a misty murky feel to the foreground your your values and the the shade of green that you've got. I like the, the foliage. You, you've got a good feeling of the foliage as well on that hedgerow. Definitely we can we can sense that there's some lighter leaves there and a darker, darker background. That hedgerow is beautiful. Well done, Theo. And Tony. Yes, with the with your marks, your objects, we would we're being dragged into the scene there. That these these strong lines going in. Very well done. Uh, good background as well. Nice nice sky. Good background with those trees. Try and be careful getting a little bit of there's a little bit of lightness around that tree. If that tree was extending beyond that white tree, that that might be might be better. Good reflection as well. Yeah, nice one, Tony. And last up is Tracy. Very nice, Tracy. Uh, I like the bold hedgerow. You've, you've got that middle hedgerow maybe a little bit closer to us. I think that works well. Uh, being, being closer to the viewer. Well-formed uh, hedgerows and this little these little shards of grass coming out 
like the reflections of the grass and that uh, you've got a little bit of a jagged edge, which I think works quite well for it. It could be some ripples in the water or something like that. Very nice colours, very good shades of green, good tractor marks, lovely sky. Perhaps that, that field there could be a little bit more yellow just to give you that, that idea of spring growth, but it's, it's a nice, very nice watercolour. Well done, Tracy. So that uh, brings us to the end of the attendee paintings for the June 20, 2021 session. If you'd like to find out more about my online watercolour workshops, just go to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot and you'll see all the details of the future workshops and previous workshops that you can take part in and still get. Even if you have missed a previous workshop, you can still take part and get a little critique from me. More details in the narrative of each of those videos up there on the Crowdcast platform. So thanks very much for watching. Catch up with you on the next video.